Solve this interview question and get the job. I'll give you some time to have a go at it. When the time is up, I'll present my solution. We have six possible outcomes that are equally likely, so the probability of each is 1 over 6. Mathematical expectation is defined as the following sum, so we'll multiply 1 by 1 over 6, 2 by 1 over 6, 3 by 1 over 6, and so on. And then we'll add the results. This will give us 3.5. So the expected payout for a single roll is $3.50. Now, if we get something less, then we're unlucky, so we should roll again. But if we get something more, then that's lucky, so we should stop. So we can see that we will roll again 50% of the time and stop 50% of the time. Rerolling has an expected return of 3.5, while stopping has an expected return of 5, because that's the mathematical expectation of these three outcomes. So for the two-roll game, the expected payout is 1 half times 3.5 plus 1 half times 5, which is $4.25. Now that we know this, we have to revise our strategy on the first roll. We have up to three rolls in this game, and now we know that the expected payout for a two-roll game is 4.25. So, if we get a 4 on the first roll, then this is actually unlucky, because we have two more rolls left. So, entering this two-roll game has an expected payout of 4.25, which is greater than 4. So, this is now unlucky, and we should re-roll 66.7% of the time, and keep our value 33.3% of the time. Rerolling has an expected return of 4.25 as we said, and keeping has an expected return of 5.5. So we can calculate the expected payout for the three-roll game by multiplying 4.25 by 2 over 3 and 5.5 by 1 over 3. The sum will be 4.6 repeating. So the expected payout for the three-roll game is $4.67, and the answer is D. Now, this is quite a complicated topic, so if you'd like to understand it better, do take a look at my YouTube video, where I take a deep dive into this.